Hey guys, this is the only rehearsed part in this entire show. So, put on your thinking caps and let's get philosophical. Hey guys, how you doing? I know it's been a while since I've made a video and I apologize. Anyways, the, the whole thing with why it took so long between my first uh, video for Halloween month and my last, I was depressed. And it could have something to do with the season, you know, the Days getting shorter, nights getting longer, not enough sunlight. Uh, there was that. But also, uh, given that I used to have a background in editing and uh, visual effects, and I had a bad time of it back in those days, long story short, it was a toxic relationship, let's put it that way. It just brought back a lot of flashbacks and bad memories for when I was working on those two episodes. I had intended to do more of them. I wanted to talk about more uh, in the vein of It's 80s Terrific and Halloween and all that sort of thing. I had, I had quite a few lined up for suggestions for people that wanted to check out some 80s stuff, but because of what happened to me in the past and affected me here and now, yeah, I wasn't really able to do what I wanted to do. Basically what I was getting at is, yeah, I get depressed and anxious and all that sort of thing. And I'm sure quite a few of you do too. And it's not anything to be considered wrong. I mean, it's not great scenario to, you know, be totally blue or sad, but it's not a sin to be depressed. It's just, you have to find ways to get out of depression. And that can be as simple as talking with someone, someone you love, someone you trust. Even helplines can do that for you. Don't even have to look a person in the eye just to talk to someone and get it off your chest. You don't even have to know the other person on the end of the line. Just know that there is someone willing to listen. I just want for you to know that you're not alone in feeling the way that you do. I've been there. There are times I still get there. But I try not to let it keep me down. Because at one point or another, every human will be sad and depressed. Even though it feels like you're in quicksand or a tar pit, you still have the opportunity to get out of it. Maybe you feel like there's no one around. Maybe. But you can't just give up on life because of it. If you were in a swamp and you were sinking in that quicksand, wouldn't you try to slowly swim back out to dry land, to a safe spot, or look for a branch, a vine, something to help you get out of that situation, even if you were alone, even if you felt like no one would be around to hear you, you would still cry for help. There's no sin in wanting someone to hear you out. And there are ways to help yourself get out of depression that are non-violent and you know, not, they won't hurt anyone. Finding something to laugh about, preferably a funny movie, uh, you know, those try not to laugh compilations on YouTube and whatnot, you know, your favorite comedy series, you know, Big Bang or friends or whatever, whatever show you like to laugh at. Another is, well, 
playing games, video games or board games, you know, even if it's not with anyone else, you know, you can still do that, you know, occupy yourself and just be a little more engaged to solving problems. Sudoku is a popular choice, as are uh, crossword puzzles. So that's something to think about. Uh, me personally, let you know a secret. There are times when I get depressed, I sing. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? I know, I well, I'm not good at singing. I mean, I've been given compliments, don't get me wrong. And I think they're genuine. But I don't sing for anyone's approval or to be popular or anything. I sing because I'm happy or I'm sad or upset, like angry or, or, or what have you. It's a form of release. You know, it's like, it's like with primal screen therapy. That's another way of doing it. But it's difficult for, to find a spot where you're not gonna disturb anyone by yelling your head off. Like, not in words, you know, like, oh, you so-and-so and rah-rah-rah. -and -and no, like, more just like, ah, sort of a thing. In my philosophy, it's, it's like, did you ever see the old Superman movies? And I forget which one it was, but he puts like a frozen lake over a volcano. Realistically, go with me on this one. Realistically, that would be impossible to put something like that onto a volcano and it would be sealed up. <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, if such a thing were possible that couldn't be destroyed and to cap a volcano you shouldn't because a volcano is a release point from the center of the earth you know it, it's not emotional it's physical it is uh, a means of ventilation coming up from the core so in situations where you have something bubbling up from your core, something that cannot be held back. What I suggest is finding a release, something that does not harm you or anyone else. So in short, you shouldn't cap a volcano, nor should you stop a storm. Because there are times when you also need to cry. That's another form of release. There is no sin. There is no sin in crying if it is genuine. If it is for the right reasons. Because you're happy. Because you are genuinely sad. Because you can't put it into words. I'm not advocating cutting or suicide or anything like that. I want that understood. Taking someone's life, even one's own, it just hurts other people. Even though you may not think so. It just ripples outwards in the way that you throw a pebble into a pond or a puddle. The ripples expand, it touches the edges of the lake, and though the waves will subside, that pebble stays there at the bottom of that body of water, unless the person that threw that stone comes along and brings back that stone out of the water. That rarely happens. So, while it's not really possible to eliminate sadness from the get go, no preventative, well, there may be some preventative medicine. So, anyways, I just want you to understand while we have different reasons for why we are sad, know that you are not alone. 
is to understand that this is a place for contemplation, communication, and hopefully some relief. Anyways, I think that's enough rambling on my part. So, balls in your court, folks. If you got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to stay subscribed so we can talk about other things. Hopefully, uh, not so heavy and not so depressing. I'll come up with something else, I'm sure. And if you think someone else could benefit from this video, share it with them. You are not alone. Alright folks, 